GH spoilers tease that Sonny deliberately caused Sam's death in an effort to conceal the truth that he was responsible for FBI agent John's murder. This act wasn't just to protect himself, but also to cover up the dark secret of his involvement in Jagger's death. However, Sam's death sent shockwaves through her loved ones, especially her family and friends. No one could have imagined that Sam, who had always been loyal to and protected Sonny, would be killed by him. If this truth comes to light, it won't just destroy Sonny's reputation, but it will also shatter all the important relationships he has, especially with those closest to him, like Jason Morgan and Christina Corinthos Davis. Sam's tragic death has left everyone in a state of shock and grief, but as the truth about Sonny's actions starts to unravel, this shock may turn into anger and retribution from those who once trusted him. Jason decided to put the search for Lucky Spencer on hold and returned to Port Charles to arrange Sam's funeral. She was the woman he had loved and been deeply connected to. Her sudden and tragic death was something Jason couldn't ignore, and he felt it was his duty to return and lay her to rest. Though Jason's heart was heavy with grief and loss, he knew this wasn't just a funeral. It was the start of an important investigation. He couldn't stop thinking about who was behind Sam's death. There were too many suspicious elements surrounding her passing, and Jason was determined to find out who was responsible for this tragedy. While finding Lucky was still important, avenging Sam and uncovering the truth had now become Jason's top priority. He knew that only the truth could ease his pain and bring justice for Sam. Upon his return to Port Charles, Jason immediately began his investigation, using every resource he had. In Jason's mind, all signs pointed to a dangerous enemy, and he wouldn't stop until he uncovered the truth behind Sam's death. Jason was in utter disbelief when he discovered that it was Sonny, the man he had always considered a brother and trusted ally who had caused Sam's death. This revelation didn't just shock him, it tore apart the loyalty and friendship that Jason had devoted to Sonny for years. In that moment, everything Jason believed in about brotherhood, loyalty, and protecting each other seemed to collapse right before his eyes. The man for whom Jason had risked his life countless times had taken the life of the woman Jason loved the most. The sense of loss was already overwhelming, but now, knowing that Sonny was the one responsible, Jason found himself in a crisis with no clear way out. He had always been willing to forgive Sonny in tough situations, believing that Sonny acted with reason. But this time, the betrayal was too great and no justification could excuse the act. Jason was caught in a storm of emotions, grief, anger, and a deep sense of betrayal. He hadn't just lost Sam, he had lost his trust in the person he considered his closest friend. The tension between his loyalty to Sonny and his need for justice for Sam left Jason confused and unsure of what to do. Sonny had always been someone Jason could rely on, but now Jason was forced to face the reality that his closest friend was the enemy of justice. Jason's inner struggle grew more intense. He couldn't overlook Sam's death, but confronting Sonny wasn't something he could do easily, given their shared history. Questions constantly plagued Jason's mind. Should he confront and take revenge on Sonny, or continue protecting the man who had been everything to him? These decisions wouldn't just affect Jason's future, but they could completely alter his relationship with Sonny, as well as the power dynamics and alliances within the criminal world they had built together. After Sam's tragic death, Jason couldn't handle all the emotions and internal conflict weighing down on him alone. Realizing the complexity and danger of the situation, he decided to join forces with Dante Falconeri, who was also deeply troubled by Sonny's actions. Both men shared a common goal, to bring the truth about Sam's death to light and confront the consequences of Sonny's actions. Jason and Dante, who had previously had a tense relationship due to their differing views on law, crime, and justice, now realized that they needed to set aside their differences to handle the situation. Dante, as a cop, had faced the struggle between family loyalty and his duty to the law many times, but Sam's death was too shocking for him to ignore. Both Jason and Dante knew that they had to work together to expose Sonny and deal with the chaos brewing in Port Charles. Their alliance not only dealt a major blow to Sonny, but also threatened the entire empire he had built. Jason, who had always been Sonny's loyal right-hand man, 
was now turning against him, while Dante, Sonny's son, decided he could no longer cover up his father's crimes. This partnership created a formidable force, isolating Sonny and forcing him to face consequences he never imagined. Sonny would have to confront the wrath of both Jason, who had once considered him a brother, and Dante, whom he had hoped would always protect the family. Both men, one a close friend and the other a son, were now turning against Sonny, leaving him with no way out. The combined blows from Jason and Dante would not only shake Sonny's power in the criminal underworld, but also threaten every personal relationship he had. Sonny now faced the harsh reality that not only was his empire on the brink of collapse, but those closest to him were no longer on his side. Jason and Dante wouldn't stop until they uncovered the truth and brought Sonny to justice, even if it meant completely dismantling everything they had built together.